Want to. Want to died 884. Courtesy named I often. Formerly the Duke of Jin. Was a Chinese politician of the medieval Tang dynasty. Serving as a chancellor during the reigns of Emperor Yizun and Emperor Yizun son Emperor Zizun. After the agrarian rebel Huang Ke captured the Tang capital turn in 880 and forced Emperor Zizun to flee, Wan was commissioned by Emperor Zizun to serve as the supreme commander of Tang forces in the Central and Eastern Empire, effectively serving as viceroy with full imperial authorities to issue edicts, and Wan was instrumental in the various Tang manoeuvres, including persuading Lai Qian and Ji Kuanzhong to join the Tang cause, in defeating Wan. In 884, on his way to his new post as the military governor Jidashi of Yicheng Circuit Chinese Letter Letter, headquartered in modern Ganji, Hebei, the concern the son of Liang and the military governor of Weibo Circuit Chinese Letter Letter, headquartered in modern Handan, Hebei, enticed by the group of women that accompanied Wang, ambushed Wang and killed him, taking the women captive. Background It is not known when Wang Duo was born. He came from a prominent aristocratic family, as his uncle Wang Bo served as a chancellor during the reigns of Emperor Muzun and Emperor Muzun's son Emperor Wenzun, although Wang Duo's father Wang Yan died early and therefore did not reach high positions. Wang Duo himself passed the imperial examinations in the Junqi class early in the Huichan era 841 minus 847 of Emperor Wenzun's brother Emperor Wuzun, and subsequently served two terms on staffs of regional governors. Early in the reign of Emperor Wuzun's uncle and successor Emperor Xu Wenzong, he was recalled to the capital of China to serve as an imperial censor with the title of Giant Yushi and subsequently served on the staff of the former Chancellor Bai Minjong when Bai served as the military governor Ji Dashi of Sichuan Circuit Chinese Letter Letter, headquartered in modern Chenti, Sichuan. During Emperor Yuzun's reign, Early in the Zayantan era 860-874 of Emperor Xu Zong's son and successor Emperor Yizan, Wang Duo was recalled to China to serve as Jia Bu Lanzhong, a supervisory official at the Ministry of Defense Chinese Letter Letter, Bingbi and was put in charge of drafting edicts. He was later made John Shusheng, a mid-level official at the Legislative Bureau of Government Chinese Letter Letter Letter, John Shusheng. In 864, he was made the Deputy Minister of Rights Chinese Letter 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 Letter, Le Bu Shilang, and in a capacity oversaw the imperial examinations for two years. It was said that he chose the passing examinees properly and was praised for it. In 866, he was made Deputy Minister of Census Chinese Letter 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 Letter, Hubu Shilang and the Director of Finances. In 870, by which time Wan was referred to as the Minister of Defence Chinese Letter 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 Letter, Bing Bu Shansha and the Director of the Salt and Iron Monopolies, Emperor Yizun made him the Minister of Rights Chinese Letter 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 Letter, Le Bu Shangshu and gave him the designation Tan Zhong Shi Meng Ping Zhengxi, making him a Chancellor de facto. At the time, fellow Chancellor Wai Bei Heng Emperor Yizun's son-in-law was very powerful, and Wai honoured Wang as the one who selected him when he passed the imperial examinations. However, because of this, when Wai tried to install his followers as imperial officials, Wang resisted. As a result, due to Wai's efforts, in 873, Wang was sent out of the capital to serve as the military governor of Xuan Wu Circuit's Chinese Letter Letter, headquartered in modern Kafeng Henan, still carrying the Tan Zhong Shi Mengzi Ping Cheng Shi title as an honorary title. Before Wang Keo's occupation of Chang'an, Emperor Yizun died later in 873 and was succeeded by his young son Emperor Zizun. As both the powerful eunuch Chan Lingzi and the Chancellor Zhang Tan believed Wan to be capable, Wan was soon recalled to serve as Yuapush, one of the heads of the Executive Bureau of Chinese Letter Letter Letter, Chan Chishen, and in 876 was restored to the Chancellorship with the designation of Tan Zhongzhi Mengzi Pinchenchi as well as the title of Mengzi Shilan to assist dealing with the deepening crises of multiple agrarian rebellions, the largest of which were led by Wan Kazayanji and Wan Keo, who by that point had merged their armies. Later in 876, Wang Xiaoyanji captured Wu Prefect's Chinese letter letter in modern Pingding Shenhen and took Wang Duo's younger brother Wang Liao captive. Subsequently, when Wang Xiaoyanji attacked Kai Prefect's Chinese letter letter in modern Huangan, Hubei, Wang Xiaoyanji had Wang Liao negotiate on his behalf with the Prefect of Kai Prefecture, Pei Wo. Subsequently, Pei and Wang Liao negotiated terms under which Wang Xiaoyanji would submit to imperial authority and receive an imperial commission. Pei thus opened the city gates and invited Wang Xiaoyanji and his top lieutenants, including Wan, into the city and submitted a petition to Emperor Zizun requesting that Wang Xiaoyanji be given an imperial commission. Most chancellors opposed, but at Wang Duo's insistence, Emperor Zizun issued a commission naming Wang Xiaoyanji an officer of the imperial gods. However, Wan was angered that he did not receive a commission as well and attacked Wang Xiaoyanji physically. Wang Xiaoyanji, in fear, turned down the commission and pillaged Kai Prefecture. He fled, while Wang Xiaoyanji and Wan parted ways and continued their campaigns against Tang forces. In 877, while the campaigns against Wang Xiaoyanji and Wang continued, Wang Duo and fellow Chancellor Li Zai had a major disagreement with Tan about the command structure of the Imperial Army sent against Wang Xiaoyanji and Wang as Wang Duo and Li wanted to put the Imperial God General Zhang Zemin under the command of Song Wai, but Zhang believed that due to the rivalry between Zhang and Song, if Zhang fell under Song's command, Song would find an excuse to kill him and therefore refused to concur in Wang Duo's and Li's recommendation. This disagreement escalated such that Wang Duo and Liu offered to resign and Zheng offered to retire. Emperor Zizong did not approve any of these offers. In 878, Imperial General Zhang Yuni defeated and killed Wang Xiaoyanji in battle, but the agrarian rebels thereafter came under Huan's banner and continued to threaten time rule. 
In 879, Wan Du offered to oversee the operations, so he was made the military governor of Jing and Circuit Chinese Letter Letter, headquartered in modern Jinju, Hebei, and the supreme commander of the imperial forces in the southern circuits to oversee the operation against Wan. He also carried the honorary titles of acting city of Chinese Letter Letter, one of the three excellencies in Shizhong. Once Wang arrived at Jingnan, it was said that he shored up the circus defences immediately. However, he also made a move in commissioning the General Lai Zai as Deputy Supreme Commander and the Governor of Hunan Circa Chinese Letter Letter, headquartered in modern Shanxia, Hunan, to be stationed at Hunan's capital Tan Prefecture in modern Shanxia, Hunan to intercept Wan, despite the fact that Lai Zai actually had no military talent, just on the basis that Lai Zai spoke well and was a great grandson of the great General Lai Shen. In winter 879, after Huan abandoned Guan Prefecture of Chinese Letter Letter in modern Guangzhou, Guangdan and headed north, Huan attacked Lai Zai and easily defeated him. With the troops that he was expecting not yet gathered, Wan Du fled Jingnan's capital, Jiangling, and left his officer Li Hanan in Jiangling's defence. But as soon as he left Jiangling, Li pillaged Jiangling, took his forces, and became a rebel as well. As a result of this disaster, while in the new year 880, Wan was made an advisor to a crown prince a completely honorary title, as there was no crown prince at the time with his office at the eastern capital, Luoyang. The title of supreme commander was instead bestowed on the general Gai Paian, the military governor of Huan and circuit Chinese letter letter, headquartered in modern Yanji, Jiangxi. During Wan Kao's occupation of Chan'an. Late in 880, with Gao unable or unwilling to make an effort to stop Wan, Wan attacked Chan'an and captured it, declaring himself as the emperor of a new state of Kai. Emperor Sizun fled to Zichuan's circuit. Wang Zhu followed Emperor Sizun to Zichuan, and in spring 880, Wan was again made chancellor with the titles of Tonjiangshi Mengzi Pingjiangshi, Mengzi Shilang, an acting city, and soon thereafter was also made Shizhen. Wang, seeing that Gao, while serving as titular supreme commander, was taking no actions against Wan, again offered to oversee the operations against Wan. In spring 882, Wan was made the military governor of Yicheng Circuit Chinese Letter Letter, headquartered in modern Enyang Penan and the supreme commander of the imperial forces, as well as the director of taxation. The general Qi Yangqian was made his deputy. Wang was also apparently given the authority to issue edicts in Emperor Zizun's name, and thereafter frequently did so as part of the operation. Wang also soon led the armies of Zichuan. Donxian Chinese Letter Letter, headquartered in modern Mainan, Zichuan, and Shannon West Chinese Letter 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 Letter, headquartered in modern Hanzhong, Shaanxi forces, and approached Chen, rendezvousing with other Tang Imperial generals to encircle the Chen region, intending to recapture it. With the Tang Imperial forces converging, one of Wang's key followers, Xu Wen, then defending Tom Prefecture Chinese Letter Letter, in modern Wainan, Shaanxi, surrendered to Tang, and Wang commissioned him as the military governor of Tonkyo Chinese Letter Letter, headquartered at Tom Prefecture. Meanwhile, under the suggestion of the eunuch monitor of the army, Yan Fugon, Wang also issued an edict pardoning the Shatyo chieftain Lai Qian, who had rebelled against Tang authorities prior, and commissioning Lai Qian to attack Wang's Kai state. Lai Qian accepted the commission and joined the campaign against Wang. Wang also issued an order to then condemn the military governor of Hedon Circuit Chinese Letter Letter, headquartered in modern Taiyan, Shanxi, who had not previously permitted Lai Qian to pass through his circuit to allow Lai Qian to pass. However, with Tang forces converging on Chan'an and with Lai Qian being the leader in the campaign against Wan, in spring 883, under Chan Lingzi's advice, Emperor Zizun suddenly relieved Wang of his supreme commander post and had him report to Yichen Circuit, as Chan accused Wang of not being able to recapture Chen'an without accepting the Yan's suggested idea of summoning the Shat Yue, e, crediting Yan, rather than Wang, with the victories. Still, for Wang's accomplishments, he was created the Duke of Jin. After Wang Kao's occupation of Chan'an. Subsequently, Chang'an was recaptured, and Huan left the region and fled back east. A part of the continued operations against Wan, he was later killed in early 884 by his own nephew Lin Nanju Wen, whose name had been changed to Ju Kuan and by this point was made a military governor of nearby Xuan circuit. As Wang had previously commissioned Ju, he thought he could depend on Ju's assistance, and initially Ju did assist Wan in maintaining the defences of Yichen circuit. However, by fall 884, Ju himself more and more secure at Xuan Wu by this point was growing arrogant in his contacts with Wang, and Wang came to see that Ju could not be depended on. Fearing that his own defensive position was threatened by Zhu, Wang requested to return to the imperial government which had returned to Chan'an. Instead, however, he received an order transferring him to Yichun circuit. Wang had often had a large group of concubines and other women accompany him. As he reported to Yichun, he went through Weibo's circuit, and the women wore grand clothing as if they were in peacetime. The Kungsan, the son of Weibo's military governor Lianjin, was enticed and stationed several hundred soldiers near Weibo's capital, Wai Prefecture. They ambushed Wang's possession and killed Wang and some 300 of his staff members, seizing Wang's wealth and women. Liu Yanjin submitted a report blaming bandits for Wang's death, and the greatly weakened Tang court could do nothing about it. Notes and References Old Book of Tang, Volume 164 New Book of Tang, Volume 185 Sijai Tan Jim Bowles 252, 253, 254, 255, 256 
category 884 deaths category chances under emperor Zizun of Tang category chances under emperor Yuzun of Tang category maze of Jinji category Tang dynasty Jidashi of Henhai circuit category Tang dynasty Jidashi of Jinan circuit category Tang dynasty Jidashi of Xunwi circuit category Tang dynasty Jidashi of Yichen circuit category year of birth unknown